Hi everybody, I'm back. We just finished the demo of uh, orchid uh, painting, the summer orchid um, with uh, live flowers from uh, Mr. Chu. Uh, and uh, we're going to um, do another one with a stiff brush later. But first, uh, let me show you the, the finished uh, the inscription here and the, with the name seal and the mood seal. Uh, the poetry I uh, wrote was uh, from a Ming Dynasty poet Chen Ji Ru. He uh, wrote uh, over the years in the Silk Road Mountain Valley, uh, accompany the frost and wind, um, left over with uh, fragrance. Uh, dispersed in the in the grass. I was worried that uh, the woodcutter can and uh, um, mix then the, the orchid with the uh, normal grass, the egg, uh, the grass. Uh, so the the beauty is uh, uh, is messed up with the the wood, you know, for fire, firewood. Um, the year of uh, Kick Summer, my name, uh, wrote the Chinese orchid, and uh, uh, was the poet poem from the Ming Dynasty. So this is <coughs> this is the complete painting with the. Uh, inscription, calligraphy, and the uh, uh, seals. My 60-year-old uh, seal for uh, obedient year and my painting seal. So uh, I used the same soft brush, uh, same brush I painted to write the poetry, the inscription. Um, so finally, uh, before we go to Return the flowers to the owner. I would do another one. Uh, you know, when you when you have a live model, it's very feels very inspired, and uh, even better that you borrow the flower for someone. So it's just like you 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 read the book from library, not the one you bought, right? So same thing. So we, I feel very. I appreciate it. I appreciate it to have the live, live flower uh, here. So I'm going to use uh, two mountain horse brush. Uh, soak the brush first in water. Okay. I use metal cup because uh, I'm afraid it might fall here with the grass. It is really um, I got some ink I put in the, uh, I have bottled ink, uh, the blue ink, Japanese blue ink, in this uh, uh, convenient ink cake. Actually, the ink cake also has a blue tone, very cool. And when you load the brush with pure ink, um, make sure you don't load until the, the very end, just uh, about half is enough. And uh, you, can, you can use a piece of tissue or paper towel to, you see the, the dark ink will smear into the peel. And, but you should keep some clean water in the bottom of the brush. Okay, and I try to do what I see here to make sense. See, this is the, the thing we talked about. This uh, this um, bending leaves, right?
So the, the absence of strokes, uh, I don't really care about uh, the completeness of the stroke as long as I got the idea across to you, the viewer, so you will complete the whole image in your, in your mind with the suggestive, uh, suggestive strokes. I mean, so some dry strokes, some missing strokes are all uh, fine. See, I divide. There are two girls. There is a. a this is a. The root is uh, under the. The ground, so we don't. Do the ground here. Other side, <clears throat> when I try to go right, I go uh, left first, like this one. Too, too curvy, but it's okay. Uh, we can make a straight one to support it, like this one. I see a nice, uh, we call it the phoenix eye, the negative shape there. Keep it straight, okay. And uh, there's a bendy one, this third one, that's an other very nice. Watch out, this. It's behind, so I use dryer brush. This brush uh, is very stiff. You can see it helps. If you use the soft brush, it takes more uh, skill. But uh, you know, it's more sensitive. It has more uh, details, like uh, nuance. Not just a straight line. I try to have lots of break, broken lines. Some smearing lines, it's all fine. Not, you know, complete smooth lines. Suggestiveness. That's about it. And then we'll do the uh, dried um, stalk or the spike. Actually, it turns to dark brown. You can use dark also. Let's just uh, make it fresh flowers uh, because in painting we don't have to do exactly what we see. Let me use a, a softer uh, version of the, the um, mountain forest brush. I use a little, a little bit of ink. We should have a palette here, but uh, let me just see what happens here. It should be a little dark to start and then go down. You can do the center stalk first. The flower is lower than the leaf, not shorter than the leaf. It was behind that. Okay, actually, it could be here, but uh, I tried to hide it at the beginning. And uh, this is, these are the uh, Flower stems, you can add flowers to it if you like. But in, in ancient uh, painting, if you go to the museum, you'll see in, in Ming Dynasty, especially they, they are very familiar with this time. So 
uh, when we talk about that poem, it looks like a thorn and sticks, uh, like a, you know, uh, grass. So it's basically it gives us a, a wild feel with this uh, dried flower spikes. So the other day when I bought my vendas, uh, I, the seller offered uh, to cut out all the dried sparks because the blooming history is important to, uh, when you buy an orchid, a, a plant, a flower. Uh, so they kept that in the nursery. But when, when I, I bought it, they, they said hey, we can cut them off. But I said, no, I like that. So this is the, the beauty of that. Um, Okay, so uh, we should have a dominant side. Don't just do it uh, symmetrically. Right? So this side should, could have more. Uh, we can make uh, another, um, like a big standing leaf right here. Or this one. So we don't want to make it parallel. So it could be crossing like that. you get to the end, you need to think more. So here's a space. Let's move it. So this area, then the area, kind of like that. Okay, but another one here. Now bring back the chi. Okay. You can't uh, repeat. You can add more if you need it. So that's give it a, a little bit squarish uh, look, not just round it. That's the, the idea. Okay, we can have a news uh, flower spark. So uh, basically, you can do either outs uh, outside in or inside out, uh, but don't you know make it too uh, try too hard. Just follow the uh, the feel. If if you you know don't pay attention to it, that's the best way uh, to do it. If you try to deliberate something, it's unnatural. So. And uh, you know you can just do the the part, or I rather change it into a, uh, something in the natural environment, uh, like we did earlier with the the rock. You can plant some rock. Is a dry brush. You can dot some uh, we call it mask dots that to suggest the uh, ground. That's about it. You can do a bit of other grass. I'll just give it. Keep it simple. Then uh, we have to think about the calligraphy again. You can write something on the bottom or vertically here or. Uh, along that line, so that and that has flower. It changed the balance. Um, maybe something around here. I will think about it and I'll show you the result in my uh, Facebook or at end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.